Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to remove the overall noise from a histogram by grouping bins together and assigning a single bin value to the grouped members. If we take a look at our original histogram that shows us the order frequency by the number of customers, we can clearly see that only a few customers order much more frequently. Essentially, we can call them outliers. So instead of displaying bins 14 and higher with this empty space in between, we're going to group them into a single bin for better presentation. All right, so let's take a look at the steps. We're going to grab our customer ID and drag it into rows. We're going to use the count as thing function and click OK. And then we're going to create a calculated field, which is going to give us the unique count of order IDs for each customer ID. So let's go ahead and open up the calculation editor. And we're going to use a fixed level of detail expression. We want to return the count of unique orders for each unique customer ID. So our dimension is going to be customer ID. And essentially we're returning the unique order count. So we have to use the count D function on order ID. Let's use this calculation to create our bins. So here we're going to click on orders per customer LOD. We're going to select create and choose bins. Let's set the size of bins to be one and click OK. And then we can go ahead and grab this field and bring it into our columns. Now we need to create another calculated field, which is going to combine our bins together into one single bin. So let's open up the calculation editor one more time. And we're going to create a simple if statement. So we're going to say if customer orders is less than or equal to 12, then return customer orders else 13. Let's save this calculated field. We're going to change this calculation to a dimension by clicking on the field and selecting convert to dimension. And now we're going to replace our orders per customer with the orders grouping. So let's go ahead and drag the orders grouping into columns. Now the last thing we need to do here is assign an alias name to 13. So we're going to right click on the last bar. We're going to choose edit alias and we're going to put a plus sign. And now we can clearly see that the final bar presents everything greater than or equal to 13. Thank you guys for watching. Please stay tuned for more Tableau content.